So to make this first toy, you're only going to need three things. You need a sock, an empty water bottle, and some popcorn. Oops, let's just put that back. Yep, okay, anyway. Popcorn kernels, moving on. So next, you're gonna take your water bottle, make sure it's clean and empty, take that paper off the outside, and you're just going to fill it up with some of the popcorn kernels. And then you're just gonna screw the cap back on, make sure it's on there nice and tight. Then all you're gonna do is take your air sock, again, make sure it's clean, and you're gonna shove the water bottle down into the sock. And that's literally it. The very last thing you have to do is tie a knot in the sock, and then that's it. Your toy is ready for your puppies. To make this next toy, you are also going to need another sock, a couple of tennis balls, pet safe of course, and depending on the size of the sock, you can use as many tennis balls as you want. And then all you're going to do is take your tennis ball and shove it down into the bottom of your sock there, and then you're going to tie a knot right at the top of the ball. Then you're going to want to tie another knot in the sock part way up from the first one. After you've done that, you're going to put another tennis ball into the sock right above the knot and then tie it off again. And there you have it! A super quick, super easy tug toy. I made a smaller one for the mutt butts. Let's see what they think of these toys. To make this toy, you're gonna need a bunch of old t-shirts and some scissors. So then you're just going to cut your t-shirts into strips that are an appropriate size for your dog. Obviously mine are a little bit smaller because I have smaller dogs. And you can use whatever kind of colors you want. Arrange them however you like. So I took one of the strips and I cut it so that instead of being a loop, it would be a really long strand. And I use that to tie the ends of my braided rope together. So I used that longer strip to tie all of my strands together in a nice tight knot. And then all you have to do is braid them together. So once I was done braiding, I took that longer strip again and used it to tie the other end of the toy together. Again, nice and tight. And then I just trimmed the ends so they weren't quite as long. Again, I have smaller dogs, so I made the toy a little bit smaller. If you have bigger dogs, you can make it bigger. And there you have it, a nice braided tug toy. Let's see if Finley and Scarlet like this one. Okay, for this toy, you're going to need a couple more strips of old t-shirt or fabric, a tennis ball, scissors, and some kind of twine or natural rope. So you're going to take your loops of old t-shirt and cut them into long strips, and you're going to want to make sure that you're using strips of fabric or t-shirt that are wide enough to completely cover the size ball that you're using. So then you're gonna lay your strips out in a cross shape and put the ball right in the middle and then fold the two strips over each other so that the ball is completely covered. So 
So then you're going to take some of your twine or rope or heavy duty thread, whatever you're using, and you're going to tie it underneath the ball. And then you just trim the ends of your twine, rope, thread, whatever you're using, so that it's nice and snug up against the underside of the ball. And then you're just going to cut the strips into smaller pieces, um, depending on the size, the width of the strips that you're using. You can cut them in half or you can cut them in thirds. So once you've got your strips cut into smaller pieces, you're going to braid them together to create as many legs to your sea monster as you want. And this is what mine looked like when I was all done. Obviously I have small dogs, so I made it a smaller toy. If you have bigger dogs, you can make it bigger and give it four legs, eight legs, however many you want. For our last toy, you're going to need some more strips of t-shirt or fabric, scissors, a tennis ball, and some kind of knife or maybe a drill to make a hole in the tennis ball. So have you guessed what we're going to do with these t-shirts first? Yeah, we're going to braid them. We're going to make another braid. So I made this toy really, really long, so I cut my loops of old t-shirt in half, so I had these really long strips. And then I did the same procedure like we did for the first braided toy where I tied it in a knot at the top and then braided it together. Until it looked like this. So you see that seam on the tennis ball there? You do not want to make a hole there because the ball might just break in half. So take your knife or drill or whatever you're using and you're going to want to make two holes right across from each other on the top and bottom of the tennis ball. So obviously you want to make your hole big enough so that you can get the braided rope through the holes. So then just shove one end of the braided rope toy into the ball and I used a chopstick to help me out with this but you could use like a knitting needle or crocheting needle, something like that to help you um, just push the rope toy through the ball. So then you're just going to keep pulling the rope through the ball until the ball is however high or low on the toy you want it. And there we go, that's what it looks like. All right, let's see if Finley and Scarlet like this.